Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to start off with giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rokakotash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and say to the elect out there pushing the word in truth and serve not charity. This is a brother Abiyala from the Great Millstone Chicago camp, coming at you with another lesson. It's uh, really uh, going to be open forum, you know, on my way to to a supermarket, you know, uh, inside a walk it. You know, do a quick walk and talk. The spirit, man, I, I was going to go into the book of Joel, second chapter. And uh, let's see what the spirit uh, gives me. But anyway, I'm going to start at the top. It says Joel 2 and 1. It says, blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in the holy mountain. All right, so how you, that's how the men of the Lord are doing right now, man. All right, blowing that trumpet, man. Pursuing to the to book of uh, Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter, when it mentions... Uh, the watchman you know we go into isaiah 62 and 6 it says uh, uh, uh have, the lord has set up watchmen upon jerusalem okay and they should never uh hold their peace day and night man because right now you know we live in the time of, of uh, prophecy man where the where the prophets have came back man and uh declared the lord's judgment all right and that's uh that's in the book of isaiah 28 and 8 man all right you know because of Right now, this is a America's what is the uh, 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 kingdom in the society, all right? Which you know, 50 years back, it was known as the you know the the, the golden city, man. But now it's turned into what, man? All right, it's crumbling. This place is crumbling. Okay, um, you know, the scripture says, let's, let's say the weak say I'm strong. So all these other nations that were once uh, um, uh, subordinate to, to this place, and now they have begun to become as strong as America, man. You know why? Because you know these, these the Lord has uh, uh, raised uh, uh, these other nations to uh, to carry on nuclear cap capability, man. You see, so I'm gonna continue on. It says, "Blow the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm on my holy mountain." Let the inhabitants of the land tremble, right, man? Because Mosai, he's, he's a man of war. Okay, he says, uh, 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 it's a few for things that fall in the hands of the living power, man. So, hey, because if you look at the things that happened in Egypt, okay, the scripture says in Daniel the twelfth chapter that uh, that uh, the day of the Lord is gonna be as a day that has not been even since uh, uh, uh since all the nations have ruled, man. Okay. You look at Egypt and the horror and the different plagues, all right, that the Most High sent, man. All right, it, it's not be compared to what's coming here in America, man. During Jacob's trouble, all right, it's gonna be things that have never been seen in this planet, man. See, so it says that the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord coming for it is nigh at hand, man. And it's nigh at hand, man. No, our salvation is nearer than we ever believed, man. I'm gonna get a quick precip. So, um, um, so Hosea, this is the main cause why the Lord is gonna do away with, with this place, man. This is uh, Hosea 4 and 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For Yahweh had, had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land because there's no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Mashiach in the land, man. Right? Because. I mean, just as Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed, all right, there was no truth in it. It was all perverse, all right. Homosexuality, sodomy was at an all-time high, man. Okay, you know, uh, 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 the Lord said, man, if there need be one righteous, or uh, I think it started with ten righteous or fifty righteous. If there's fifty righteous, the Lord, you know, He, he would have spared it. When there was no truth, man, there was not one righteous, but a lot, man. You know. You know, if I'm not mistaken, no. But the point was that the Most High destroyed the place, man, because there's no truth, man. You see? So going back to Joel the second chapter, it says verse two. It says, "A day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness." Why? Because, because the Lord's gonna bring his uh, his armies. I which are the so-called UFOs, which uh, are the chariots of the Most High, man. You know? 
says, um, it says, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, all right, a great people and a strong, all right, it says, there had not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the ears of, of many, many generations, man. all right, and it's talking about the, the missiles, man, you know, because once these missiles are shot off, man, the Lord, he, 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 uh, you know, there will be no use for them, for them no more. That's what it says, neither shall there be any more after it. It says, even to the ears of many generations. Because if you read on, it says, a fire devoured before them, and behind them a flame burneth. Right? Because that's that destroying wind, man. It says, the land is as the Garden of Eden before them. Right, man? Because while you picture a green land, and a missile shot up or hits it, man. The wind is gonna, all right, or thus make every disintegrate everything uh, uh, that that's in this path, man. So you can see the destroying wind spreading in towards that green land, man. All right, right, which is the earth. Okay, it says the land is this garden of Eden before them and behind them a desolate wilderness, right? Because you read in uh, Isaiah 34 chapter. And uh, Revelations, the 18 chapters, are it's the scripture speak about it should be uh, uninhabitable, man. It should be a, like, a, like a desert where only uh, desert creatures will, will be able to dwell there, man. You see? So it says, um, um, it says, um, <clears throat> it says, and behind them a desolate wilderness, yet yeah, and nothing shall escape them. Right, man. You know, it says um, the appearance of them is as the appearance of horses. As, as break is mentioning, all right, back to the uh, to those missiles, man. All right, the, the that people that should be no more like them. Too. But it says the appearance of them is as the appearance of horses and a horseman. So so shall they run, man. Right, and, and a precept to that is in the book of uh, uh, Revelation, I believe, it's the ninth chapter. Um, where it says, um, you know, those are, there's a, uh, they look like lions. That, matter of fact, I'll get it. All right, put this thing in airplane mode so I don't get no interruptions. Um, uh, <clears throat> so if I can find it. Yup, it's uh, Revelation 9 and 7. Uh, it says, in the sharp, it's so like, uh, let me start at 9, 8. It's like, it's wrong, wrong piece of Uh, give me just a second, I can I'll like find it. All right, right here. Verse 17. So thus said, I, uh, Revelation 9 and 17, it says, And thus I saw the horses in the vision, and then that sat on them, having breastplates of fire, and of uh, Joseph and brimstone, and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions. Okay, it says, and out of their mouths issue fire and smoke and brimstone, man. Those those missiles, man. You know, it's a uh, John Revelator. Uh, he's describing describing it as, as as the best possible way, using the terminology they had back in the ancient world, man. You know, because when you seen the, these missiles, man, it was like as as a, a brimstone, all right, with fire, and the heads of the horses were the heads of lions, man. You know, because the head of the missile, man, was a, uh, uh, you know, um, <clears throat> when it, uh, when it shot up, man. All right, you see, uh, the the back out of the mouth issue fire and smoke, right, and brimstone. Okay, and, and, you know, because when, when you look at a missile, man, uh, 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 that fire, all right, is is it, you know when it shot up, man, you can see that the the. The, the fire forming in the in, in the in the mouth of the missile man you know 
It says, um, um, verse 18, by these were, was the third part of men killed. The third part of men is uh, Esau, man. You know? Because prior to the nations being formed, there was uh, three categories of men. The, the sons of God, which are the Israelites. The sons of men, which are the other nations. And the son of, of the wicked, which uh, is the seed of, the, of Esau, Edom, man. All right? This is the third part was... And there was the third part of the man killed by fire and by smoke and by brimstone, which is issued out of their mouths, man. All right, those are actually being nuclear missiles, man. That's how this place is going to be destroyed. It says in Isaiah 13 and 4 that uh, they come from a far country, man. All right, the most I say, he created the smith that kindled the coal, man, which built the weapons to, to destroy, man. All right, it says in uh, Second Angels, when the archer begins, my archer begins to throw an uh, arrow, all right, they come from one end of the earth even to the other, man. All right, those are the Lord's weapons of indignation, man. The ICBM missiles, man. All right, and that's how the Most High is going to cleanse this place. You see, so that's that great people, all right. There should not be none like it from generation to generation because, you know, once these missiles are used, all right, the Most High is going to, you know, he, he's no longer going to be able to he, he use them anymore, man, because... Because his judgment will, will be uh, uh, fulfilled. But, um, no, I'll just leave it like that, man. Make me quick, uh, 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 you know, just touching on the subject of these missiles and the judgment that's coming. You know, we're almost out of here. Lord willing, this video was edifying. All right, once again, I want to say it. Uh, we're going to give all praise to you. How about Shai, Bahashim, Kapotash, the minus the apostles of Great Millstone. It's like to the elect out there pushing the word in truth, sharing not charity. So next time I, I say shalom.